how do you guarantee your pupils' well-being in this school? Um, I think the most important thing in a school is is knowing your pupils and mm -hmm. ensuring that they know that who is that who there are which people there are to talk to. Everyone needs to be looking out for the pupils, but they also need to know that there is always someone to ask. And I would take, I feel it's got to come from the top. So certainly I need to know my pupils well, and they need to know that I'm accessible to them. Do you think parents here are paying for their children to join a social elite? And does that, does that matter? <laughs> um, Blundells is a hugely varied uh, community. And I think, uh, definitely they don't see it as a social elite. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we love the breadth that we have within our community. Um, what I think parents are paying for is a very definite uh, openness to having mm -hmm. a go at everything. There are so many opportunities that you just couldn't provide for your child on a regular basis. Yeah. What really keeps me awake at night, I guess, um, probably that there's never enough time to do everything that we no. want to do. So that would be one of those things. Um, but does this justify you getting paid more than the Prime Minister? <laughs> I definitely don't think I'm paid more than the Prime Minister. Um, I think teachers should be, my ordinary staff teachers should be paid well though, because what more responsible job could you have than preparing the next generation for, for leading the world? So I think you've, you've got to uh, make sure that teachers feel valued. Uh, what would you do if someone tried to access a Forbidden's website? So at Blundells we've just introduced, we have relatively recently, we have a bring your own device network so you can bring in your own phone or laptop and join into the school system. We have decided upon a slightly different sense, sense of filtering. We do have filtering through that website, through that network um, of very of dangerous sites, obviously which we don't allow pupils or, or staff to access, but we have quite a, a a bit more of an open accessibility policy so actually the filtering is not quite as tight as or and things don't get blocked so easily as they perhaps might have done because what we do is record any access mm -hmm. that people have made to sites and that gives us the chance to have a conversation with the pupil about why they're wanting to access a particular site as opposed to just blocking it and they move on to find another way of getting there. How would you define bullying and how do you deal with it? To me, bullying is essentially in the eye of the beholder. I think if a child feels that someone has been unkind to them or humiliated them, then that counts as bullying. And I really feel it's important for us to have no tolerance to that at all. We take, uh, I think, a very firm line, and uh, some people might say that we take a very firm line, and to be honest, I'm quite pleased that they would say that. Uh, we would, uh, it's a no-nonsense approach, there are very strict guidelines and pupils should therefore know that they cannot be intentionally unkind to others.